Hey everybody. Hello everybody. Hey everybody. It's Brock. This is Brock. And we got a new episode with another episode of All About. Of All About. All About. What's up everybody? It's Brock and we got a brand new episode of All About. And today we are learning about a very special shrimp that I think you should have in your tank. He is called the peppermint shrimp. Prices on them, you'll spend about eight bucks. Tank size doesn't matter. Care level, they're super easy. Temper, he's very peaceful. Reef compatible, definitely. Temperature, he's 72-78. DKH, 8-12. to 12. pH, 8.1-8.4. to 8.4. And your salinity, 1.023-1.025. to 1.025. Make sure you keep that right on. Diet, they are a carnivore. They are the, be- the best at killing aptages. They are just, it is what they do in the wild. It's their natural diet. And so if you have a problem with aptages, I would definitely recommend these guys. Max size, they can get up to 2 inches. Compatibility, just ask. Uh, I would get more than one. They seem to do better that way. Colors, is that nice red or some of them get pink. And whenever they become stressed out, they will turn almost completely see-through. Origin, they are captive bred now. We don't catch them in the wild anymore. So... A lot of times people get these, and they put them in their tanks for a couple weeks, and then they come back to us complaining, saying they aren't eating, and they just don't come out at all. Well, they are very nocturnal. They normally do not come out during the day. And you got to think, this is a little shrimp. Think about how big his stomach is. He can't just knock out all the aptages in your tank in a couple weeks. So if you are a little bit less patient with your aptasia problem, definitely just get more. If you have more in there, that gives more stomach room to eat these aptasias. So get more than one. Then don't do any copper dosing because that will like instant kill them. It's just not good for them. Make sure your iodine's real good because that helps them shed. And they do do a little cool little side to side motion. I'm not really sure why they do it, but they kind of just hang out up under little rocks and little arch that you have in, in your in your tank. But yeah, these guys are killer aptasias. They will do the job, but it will take them a little bit. They are also scavengers. They will eat leftover food, detritus, anything like that that's left on the ground. They will run after it and eat it. So if you see them eating that, that might be a reason why they're not eating the aptages. They're full off of the really good food. But that is it. That is your peppermint shrimp. Definitely would go get one of these guys. Can't really put them in a predator tank. They'll probably see them as a little snack, so watch out for that. But... They are very, very peaceful. They do not fight other shrimp. I have had mine in my tank for a long time, but my coral banded ended up killing him. So watch out for that. He will not fend for itself. He is very fragile. But that's it. That's the peppermint shrimp. I hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you all later. Make sure to like and subscribe, and check out my other videos. We just hit a 1,000 subscribers. Thank you all so much. I love you all. I can't thank you all enough from that. All started out with me just working in the fish store with an idea to let everyone know how to take care of some fish. And here we are a thousand deep and it feels great. So to celebrate, for the whole month of June, every single day, I'm going to put out a new episode of All About, about some kind of fish, some kind of crustacean, maybe different things on how to take care of stuff. But just either way, every single day, you're going to be getting a video from me and it's going to be awesome. Maybe even more videos. So here we go. Stay tuned. Here comes celebrating a thousand subscribers.